You've been a good daughter. You've been a supportive wife. You've been a loving mother. You've been a dutiful employee. Maybe it's finally time to do what you have always wanted to do. If we've not met before, I'm Shelley from Taming Frenzy. Somewhere between girlhood and adulthood, many of us lost our way. We may have started out as bold, fearless young girls who had big, bold, great plans for the future. But as we look back, we realize that somewhere along the way, we put that bold little girl into a box. We put her plans on hold indefinitely, it seems. Somehow, we never got around to doing the things that that little girl wanted to do. The needs of everybody else around us came first and took priority. And it's not that we regret our choices. We love our families. We believe we're doing the right things for those we love, and we believe that we should. And we cannot imagine our lives without them. So no, we don't regret any of the choices we made in the past. But let's face it, our devotion and attention often came at the price of our own goals and dreams. However, things have changed now. It's time for you to take back your life in retirement. It's a perfect time for you to look at changing the direction of your life. And there's no reason that you cannot now pursue those goals and dreams that you may have put on a back burner in the past. But it can be hard. So many of us have put everyone else's wants, needs, and desires ahead of our own to the point that We struggle with feeling selfish if we decide we want to pursue something that's just for us. It's a sad fact, but many of us do feel guilty or feel selfish for finally wanting to take our turn. But let me assure you, you are not selfish for wanting to take your turn. You are not selfish for wanting to change the course of the rest of your life. You are not selfish for wanting to pursue your own goals and dreams. You are not selfish for wanting to reinvent your life during your retirement. Perhaps you have helped take care of aging parents. Maybe you put a spouse through school so he could work towards his career. Maybe you chose a career that allowed you to have the most time possible with your children. Maybe you even didn't pursue career advancement opportunities because they were going to cause a burden for your family. If any of these things are familiar, good. Because frankly, those are signs, those are proof that you're not a selfish person. Those are the actions of someone who has put her needs and desires on the back burner so that she could selflessly give and help the important people in her life achieve their goals and dreams, often at the expense of her own. However, having done so for so many years, we may have unconsciously set the expectation with others that we're always going to do that even if circumstances have changed. The hard truth is that everyone in your life may not be super excited about the fact that you now have some goals and dreams that you want to pursue, and they may not just be thrilled to death that you are ready to step up and take your turn. Everyone may not be as excited about those possibilities and opportunities as you are. We need to be mindful of the fact that we may have family members or friends who are not really on board and are not as supportive of our goals and dreams as we would like for them to be. A spouse may kind of resent the fact that now they need to step up and take care of some of the home responsibilities that you have always taken care of. That spouse may resent the time you spend working on new opportunities and things of your own. A spouse may have enjoyed having your complete attention, and they may resent the time that you now spend working on something else. That spouse may resent the fact that now they have to step up to the plate and maybe take some of those home chores and responsibilities and obligations off your plate, and they do them. They may not want to take that responsibility on themselves. Your kids may not be thrilled with the idea that you are not always there for them to do things with them or to do things for them at the drop of a hat. Your friends may not understand this new endeavor, and they may not be supportive of the time it takes. The truth of the matter is that it is highly unlikely that the people in your life who surround you are going to voluntarily step up and say, Hey, honey, dear, sweetie, mom, I would just love to take on more responsibility and to relieve you of some of these obligations, and I would like to step up and do more so that you can do less. 
yeah, odds of that probably aren't real high, are they? Generally, people are pretty happy letting other people take care of things, and they're pretty happy with just maintaining the status quo, especially when they have been the beneficiary of the status quo. And that's where we're going to have to just pull up our big girl panties and refuse to let other people convince us that we are selfish for wanting to take time to finally pursue something of our own. Because it is not selfish to want to pursue your dreams. It is not selfish to want to achieve a goal that you've had. It is not selfish to want to change the direction of your life. It is not selfish to want to eliminate some of your responsibilities and obligations so that you have time to work on your own projects and goals. It is not selfish to want to reinvent your life during your retirement years. It is not selfish to want to achieve your potential. But so many of us have been trained to feel that anything we do for ourselves, whether it's time spent on ourselves, whether it's pursuing goals, pursuing dreams, working on projects, we have been trained and indoctrinated that anything we do that is for us, that doesn't put everybody else first, is wrong, and that it makes us bad, and that it makes us selfish. And we don't want to be bad daughters, or bad wives, or bad mothers, or bad friends. We don't want to feel guilty. Nobody wants to be bad. Some lessons run very deep and are very hard to overcome. But here's the deal. The, the truth probably is that you have helped all those other people in your life achieve their goals and their dreams. They very likely are where they are today because of your efforts, because of the things that you have done, because of the support you have given them, because of the things that you have taken off their plate, the responsibilities that you have lifted off of their shoulders. You have been their anchor. You have been their support. And they would not be where they are today without you. You have never been selfish, and you are not selfish now. Now, a little caveat here. Obviously, we have to use common sense. I am not encouraging someone to run off and abandon people and, you know, go spend a a million dollars that you don't have just because you feel like it's my turn and I deserve it. Okay, there's a line between doing something for yourself and pursuing your goals and doing something that is just so ridiculously stupid that you blow up your life and the life of everyone around you. So, you know, let's just get that one off the table here. There is common sense here. There's a difference between taking your turn and doing something that is totally outlandish. But scaling back on some of your responsibilities and some of your obligations, that's not selfish. It's not selfish to expect the people in your life to help pick up some slack and to help do some things. Scaling back on some of those responsibilities and obligations that we've had in the past can give you the time for personal growth and self-development. It gives you the time to pursue new opportunities, to develop personally, and to learn new skills. And all of those things can be essential to continued self-growth and self-development. Learning and doing new things is good for us. It keeps us young. It gets us mentally excited to think about the possibilities of things to come. It's good for us to feel mentally stimulated and excited by the thought of new possibilities and new opportunities. It keeps us young and interested in life, and it helps combat that I'm too old feeling that tends to lead to depression and decrepitude. Besides, think of what a good example you'll be to the people around you. You might just encourage someone else who has been struggling with some things to maybe decide to pursue some of their own goals and their own dreams. Those people who are taking on different responsibilities and different obligations may learn some brand new things. They may discover things that they like and that they enjoy that they previously didn't know. You may give them the courage to totally branch off and pursue something new. There are definitely benefits for you, but there are also benefits for the people around you. And here's my final thought on this. There is no law, no rule that says the mom or the wife or the woman has to be the one who is responsible for everybody and everything. It does not need to all fall on your shoulders. Even if you have been in charge of and taken care of all those things in the past, does not mean that you must continue to do so. That's not fair to you, and it's really not fair to other people either. People are allowed to grow and change 
and so are you. So start thinking, start dreaming, start planning, and I would love to hear what is next for you on your journey. I hope you'll watch the rest of the videos in this series on setting a course for your life. And until next time, let's all tame some frenzy.